Hey friends, there's a beautiful garden near my house which is triangular in shape. We decided to build a fountain in the center of the garden. But as we already know that the garden is triangular in shape, so how can we find the center of the garden? Friends, now mathematics comes in the picture to help us. And in math, the center of an object or a shape is called as centroid. Centroid word is used as a substitute of terms such as center of gravity and center of mass. Center is a point that balances a shape. But since we are talking about the triangular garden, centroid of the triangle is the balancing point created by the intersection of three medians. Whereas median is the line drawn from midpoint of one side of the triangle to the opposite vertex. Now tell me, how can we find this centroid? As we just learned that centroid is the intersection of three medians. So the first thing we need is to draw the medians. So for the ease of understanding, let us name the garden as ABC. First, we will find the midpoint of side BC. Let's name it as D and join the midpoint D to the opposite vertex, that is vertex A. Here we got median AD. Similarly, we can draw median BE and median CF. Now we can see that there are three medians which are intersecting at a common point and this intersection is our centroid which is usually denoted by point G. Now, can you tell me anything more by observing this diagram? Well, we can see that the medians have divided the triangle into six smaller triangles. There is one more important property of centroid of a triangle that it divides all the medians in the ratio of 2 is to 1. It means if we go from vertices to the centroid, then the length is two-third of the entire median and if we go from the centroid to the base then the length is one-third of the entire median. But for such a big garden we cannot draw the medians, correct? So what can be done now? As we know mathematics is going to help us. In math we will be taking the help of coordinate geometry. Now let's suppose A B and C are the coordinates of the vertex of the garden. Which more points will require the coordinates now? Yes, you said it right. Points D, E and F. Let's find the first coordinates of point D. It is the midpoint of side BC. Now, do you remember any other formula from coordinate geometry that can help us finding the midpoint of this side? The hint is in the question only. Yes, the midpoint formula. We can find the coordinates of point D by putting the values of B and C in the midpoint formula. Therefore, x2 plus x3 divided by 2 and y2 plus y3 divided by 2 are the coordinates of point D. Similarly, we can find coordinates of E and F which will be now in order to derive the formula for centroid you can use any of this midpoints it is not necessary that you have to use point D only as said earlier centroid of a triangle divides the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1 in this case AG will be 2 and GD will be 1 therefore AG is to GD will be equal to 2 is to 1 we already have coordinates of A and coordinates of D as well as we have their ratio. So what can be done here? Can we use the section formula here? Yes, as section formula finds the coordinates of a point which divides the line segment in two parts. So the section formula is here M is AG and N is GD. X1, X2, Y1, Y2 will be the coordinates of A and B. So by putting the values in the formula, we will get 
Therefore, coordinates of point G, which is the centroid of the garden, will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3, comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. And this is our centroid formula. And now we can see that we have come up with the centroid formula. And in this formula, we do not require any of the midpoints. Now here we are given with the coordinates of points A, B and C. And we have to find the centroid G of the garden. So we will be directly using the centroid formula. And after substituting the values, on simplifying this further, we will get x is equal to minus 5 and y is equal to 3. These are the coordinates of centroid. Therefore, coordinates of the centroid are minus 5, comma 3. So we will build our fountain at this point. So friends, with the help of coordinate geometry, it was quite easy to solve this, isn't it? The important thing is just that we need to apply the correct formula at the correct places. Try to solve this question given below until we meet the next time. Harry, Sam and Joe are three friends. Harry is standing at a position A, Sam is standing at a position B and Joe is standing at a position G. They decided to meet at a point C. So can you find the coordinates of the point where they decide to meet? So, when you get the answer, please comment down. I hope you have liked this session. Please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. And yes, don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.